हेलो आई एम फेमिदा मैमन आवर टूडेज टॉपिक इज लाइफ प्रोसेसिस आई वंडर टू द फंक्शंस ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम स्टॉप वेन दे आर सिटिंग और स्लीपिंग लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स परफॉर्म फंक्शंस लाइक सिंथिसाइजिंग प्रोटीन्स एंड ग्रोइंग वाइल दे सीम टू बी डूइंग एनी थिंग स्पेसिफिक द प्रोसेस इज दैट हेल्प इन कैरिंग आउट मेटाबॉलिक फंक्शंस ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स आर कॉल्ड लाइफ प्रोसेसिस इन ऑर्डर टू परफॉर्म दिस लाइफ प्रोसेसिस लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स नीड एनर्जी This energy is obtained from food. This entire process of obtaining energy from food is called nutrition. The nutritional processes of living organisms are decided by how complex the organisms are. plants and the few bacteria use in organic substances to prepare their food in the form of organic compounds so they are called autotrophs the process of nutrition in autotrophs is called autotrophic nutrition fungi and animals cannot prepare their own food and directly or indirectly depend on autotrophs for their food such organisms are called heterotrophs and the process of nutrition in heterotrophs is called heterotrophic nutrition so this plant can prepare its own food that's right the plants prepare their food through photosynthesis the process of using energy and sunlight to convert water and carbon dioxide into carbohydrates and oxygen is called photosynthesis let's look at the basic raw materials to perform photosynthesis sunlight acts as a source of energy carbon dioxide is obtained from the atmosphere water is absorbed from the soil by the roots of plants leaves have tiny pores on their surface called stomata stomata let in the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere the carbon dioxide then diffuses into the cell organelles called chloroplast which carry out photosynthesis let's take a closer look at these stomata if the stomata are open all the time the plant may lose large amount of water through them to prevent this the stomata are opened only when the plant need carbon dioxide for photosynthesis stomata contain guard cells that regulate the opening and closing of stomata when water flows in them the guard cells swell and open up the stomata similarly if the guard cell closed the pore closes chloroplast are bound by double membrane they contain closely packed flattened sacs called thylakoid arranged in piles called granum these granum lie in a colorless ground substance called stroma thylakoids contain a pigment called chlorophyll which trap solar energy interesting and how does the process of photosynthesis takes place photosynthesis involves a series of photochemical reactions that consist of two phases light and dark reaction light reaction takes place 
in the thylakoids of the chloroplast. Dark reaction takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast. The energy carriers involved in photosynthesis are ATP, adenosine triphosphate, acts as an energy carrier. This surphosphate group in ATP breaks up, releasing ADP and phosphate and energy. NADP is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate which is used as an electron carrier. NADPH is the reduced form of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate that serves as an energy carrier. As the name suggests, light reaction takes place in the presence of sunlight. Using light energy, water molecules split up to release oxygen. The chlorophyll in the thylakoids of chloroplast traps the light energy and excites an electron. This excited electron converts light energy into chemical energy and this chemical energy is stored as ATP and NADPH. Thus, light reaction produces the energy source ATP and NADPH but not the food. Dark reaction takes place in the stroma of chloroplast by reducing carbon dioxide to carbohydrates, utilizing energy from ATP. It can take place with or without the presence of sunlight. Hence the name dark reaction. By the end of dark reaction, plants prepare glucose. This glucose is used immediately by the cell or stored in the form of starch. Water is another important raw material required for photosynthesis. Terrestrial plants take up water from the soil to their roots. Carbohydrates formation is not possible without the presence of water. Apart from water, plants also absorb nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, iron and magnesium from the soil. Nitrogen is taken in by plants in the form of inorganic nitrates or nitrites. Bacteria convert atmospheric nitrogen during nitrogen fixation which are when utilized by plants in the form of ammonia. So here ends this topic. Thank you.